It's like you're looking through a telescope. You see where you're going to be. Growing, getting better. You're not the person they see. Can't be mad at the things you've been through. Because they built your muscle. Now you're stronger than you've ever been. They can't stop. My name is Tamar Aziz Serwa. I am the pioneer of the womb sauna and the movement to let the womb be heard. And I'm excited. Right now we are in our tour season, and we are taking the power of the squat, the tour vaginal steaming, to women all throughout the world, and it's exciting. And I wanted to bring this call to you to just inspire you and connect everyone and give you a chance to hear from some of the women who are experiencing the impact of the womb sauna, what that has been like for them and for their lives. And then we also want to talk about releasing your pain story, whatever it is, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, keeping you recycling through the same patterns in your life. We're going to break that up tonight, and then I'm going to give you some additional information about the tour as well. So. First things first, I want to let these women who are near and dear to me start this call off with sharing their experience with the womb sauna vaginal steam, as well as some of the other things that we do. We do classes as well. And so I want them to just share with you what the womb sauna has done for their lives. So the first sister we have is my dear friend, Latanya. How are you, love? You can hit star six to unmute yourself. Hi, Tamer. Hi, go ahead and introduce yourself to our sisters that have called in and just share with them your experience so far with the womb. Sure, sure, sure. My name is Latanya Valencia Moss, and um, my experience with the womb sauna has been, oh, I, I mean, I think even using the word life changing um, would be an understatement. For me personally, it would just be an understatement. I just recently had my third womb sauna in less than a year uh, last Thursday. My first womb sauna um, was just so, uh, I couldn't even explain what it was. But, but, but one thing that I remember in that first womb sauna was, uh, Taylor asking me my womb story. And as we begin to share, as I begin to share that and um, relate that to her and, and with her guidance there, I call her just this grand um, uh, midwife. That's, I, that's the best word I have for her, this, this midwife. And what I found out in that first session that the stories that I had been telling myself was erroneous in some manner. And although I had been molested and I had had sexual trauma to my womb, that there was a very good and precious story that my womb was telling that, that I had not articulated, but, my, but it was telling me that. And, and, and I know it was telling me that because it was manifesting in my relationship with men, but also what was manifesting in my relationship with men was the story that I was telling myself of rejection, of not being desirable, of not being wanted. But there was this underlining story of, you know, the first time I ever had sex in my life was the most um, this beautiful experience I've had. And that even though, you know, you're supposed to sit around and share that story, it is not the same. But but she was able to have me go back and pull that, that what was sitting in my womb was something that was so precious. And it had become this guiding light through my life, even though it was mixed in with all of this rejection. So I left my first womb sauna, and, and Tamer will tell you that. And the next time I saw Tamer, I brought back a carload of women, and I was like, <laughs> every woman in the, on this planet should have a womb sauna. I, I personally never suffered from um, 
fibroid issues or um, hysterectomy or uh, heavy bleeding and menstrual wise or anything like that. And I was able to tie that back to my first sexual experience, which was beautiful. So I never had those uh, fibroid issues or, or I was stuck in that manner. But the rejection because of being molested, that that energy was there. So that energy was able to be clear my first session. And my first session was so powerful that I was like, okay, when can I do the next one? So moving to the next session, what I was able to give birth to was this um, facet of hiding that who needed to be birthed was me, that even though, uh, in my life, you can see all of my achievements. You can see all of the things that I had done. I was still hiding. I was still uh, dimming my light. I was still doing this thing to make other sisters and women comfortable around me. So, you know, I would turn the flames down so that women wouldn't feel like I was still in the spotlight or that my light was too bright. So as we were able to give birth to that in my second womb sauna, then by the time I got to my third womb sauna, which was last Thursday, uh, Taylor had me running around my apartment butt naked. Um, I had other sisters lined up again. So I had people lined up again to get their womb sauna, bring in friends. I brought one of my girlfriends all the way from Pennsylvania to Tame with a gift. So I had I've become just this advocate for the womb sauna and every woman who can do it. And and, and on last Thursday I brought one of my mentees and she said to me that her doctor wasn't sure that the womb sauna was something that she should do. And I said to her, well, I'm not a doctor. Uh, here's Tamer's um, website. You can go read all about it. By all means, share this information with your um, health care professional. And if you feel like it's something that you shouldn't do, I'm not going to argue on that. All I can tell you is that it has been life-changing for me, and it has stripped away these erroneous thoughts and these erroneous um, stories that I was telling myself about myself, about my greatness, and about my ability to really stand in this world as the woman that God had created me to be, and that I was able to strip away all of this masculine energy, which I found out was just layers of protection, trying to protect myself because of the uh, molestation. So no man will be able to do this to me. So as a result of no man being able to do this to me, that I'm going to, quote, unquote, be this man in my life as well. So I'm walking around more masculine than anything and, you know, just, just dealing with these issues. But on our last session, on last Thursday, and I'm wrapping this up, on last Thursday, so this is what happened after last story, last Thursday. I stepped out of that womb sauna on Thursday, stripped of my clothes, naked. I woke up the next day, and, and for you women on the call who have never had a womb sauna, and I'm telling you, it's magical in this way. I stepped out of that womb sauna on Thursday, literally a different woman, and my femininity was embraced in such a way that when I appeared in my life on Friday, had the womb sauna on Thursday, when I showed up in my life on Friday, I showed up 100% Standing in my power, I was standing in my power, understanding that God created me a woman and that all the power that I possessed, that it was okay for me to possess that as a woman. I no longer needed to be a man, that everything I needed to do, I could do this as a woman. So when, I, when I've showed up in my life every day since last Thursday, so we're talking about a week later, every person that has encountered me since my last womb sauna is like, what, you in love? What, girl? What what, what happened? What, you in love? I, and you know how we look when we're in love. We all of a sudden become light and bright and, you know, airy and, you know, and we're singing. But I was in love. But I was in love with me. And I was in love with the idea that this is how God made me and I can be this person and that it's okay that I be this person. And to be any other person is deception and that, that deception. 
deception was cleared away. And that I could stand in as large as tall. I could stand beautiful. I didn't have to not make myself up. I did not have to dummy down. I did not have to uh, add this ma- masculine armor to show up in the world. So now... Every, you, everywhere I go, I'm like, oh, my God, you're such a beautiful woman. Oh, my God, I didn't know that was in you. Oh, my God, you are so fine. Oh, my God, people walking by, double take. Who, who, that's what Tanya, yep, it's me. And that's what, and I didn't even get to tell Tama this, so that's what happened after my um, last wound, Sana, on last Thursday. I've been showing up in my life every day free, having, giving birth to me and that I gave birth to me in a way that is not artificial, that is not inauthentic, that is not something where people are looking like, you know, she's phony. So this is what women are coming up to me saying. Like, these are my girlfriends, too, which is funny. Um, so, Latanya, um, you know, did you get a raise? No, I didn't get a raise. Why, why are you asking me did I get a raise? Because you look like a stylist is coming to your house every morning dressing you. Like, who's laying out your clothes? Oh, my God, your makeup is flawless. You know how to put on makeup? Yeah, I do. But, but that was a part of me that I was hiding so women could be comfortable. So what happened is I'm drawing a different group of women to me who can handle me being fully clothed in my light, fully clothed as the woman God has created me to be unapologetically and not in a way that I would do it sometimes, not sometimes, do it on Wednesday, not on Thursday, but that I began to do it every single day as my birthright and as 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 my just birthright, as my birthright to be a woman. I owe so much to this woman. She has held my hand. I'll be 50 soon. So if you're under 50, please get this quick. I'll be 50 soon. And with that half century coming into my life, no longer am I willing to decrease so somebody can feel comfortable. But she taught me that I could stand, that I really could ascend to give women some place to go, and that I didn't have to continue to grovel with women in order for them to be comfortable, but now I actually see women looking up to me and going, okay, she's a full package, and now that deception that I've had for all of my life until last Thursday, that deception that I had is no longer with me, that gap has been closed, and I'm standing in the power of being this powerful African-American woman that I am, and I'm an advocate for the womb sauna, and that is why she has me on this call tonight because I love her. And I told her I would be remiss not to show up. I have an engagement that I have to be at. But I told her there's no way she could ever need me, and I would not let women know that this is something that would radically, radically, not only change your life, but cause you begin to look at your life and women around you in such a loving and compassionate way. And that's my offering tonight. Oh, I love you, my sister. You moved me just hearing you because I didn't know about what happened Friday morning and, and for the past week. So thank you. I honor you. And we are reflecting each other. I held space for this sister, and she came in and did the work. And so for those of you who are listening this evening, the reason I want you to hear from these powerful sisters is because it will work when you work it. When you get in here, you pop this fly, you sweat, you cry, you get it out, and you put in the right things, at all levels, things inevitably shift in your life, and you get up off of that pot is what I call it. You get up off of that pot, a brand new woman. My sister, Latanya, I love you. Thank you for sharing your experience. I know you have to go, but I honor you. This is a bad sister, so if you don't know about her, you want to connect to her movement here in the D.C. metro area. Latanya, you have time to share with them how they can stay in connection with you? Sure, absolutely. You can certainly find me on Facebook at Latanya Valencia. Valencia is spelled with an I, not an E, V A L I N C I A, last name Moss, M O S S. I'm working on a project now called uh, Moss Berries. Um, juicy tidbits for women. So, I mean, she has just freed me up to no longer hide, to just really come out and let women know. I mean, seriously. 
you can be who you are, and there are women who will not be jealous of your life. There are women who will support you and undergird you and be proud of you because, likewise, we'll be tagging one another, giving each other permission to ascend. So, I mean, I'm just so grateful to be a part of her movement, and certainly Facebook is the easiest way because I'm revamping my website right now. So Facebook is the easiest way um, to find me. Whatever I'm doing, I put on Facebook. And let me say this. I have been defunct in my ministry for the last 11 years, literally. And since I have been on this womb silent journey, doors have opened for me unbelievably, my calendar has filled up so much because people, they know the voice that I have, but what they're seeing is this exterior difference, this exterior light that they're saying, okay, there's some balance in her now. There's something that happened in her, and we want to hear her. We want to hear her. So, uh, I mean, just really put on your seatbelt, pop that squat, and just be ready for everybody (laughs) that surrounds you to see that difference, and to see that difference with some immediacy. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Tama. Thank you, love. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, and thank you for hopping on. I know you're a busy lady, so I appreciate you. I have to go. I'll talk to you later to find out how everything, and I know it's recording, so I'll look for the playback. You ladies have a blessed Friday evening. Yes. Peace, love. Take care. All right, so, ladies, I'm going to let you hear from one more sister, and then for the sake of time, we're going to keep it moving because I want to put this in context. That's why I'm letting you hear from these other sisters that's experiencing some of this movement. Womb healing work is so much more than just about treating the physical symptoms of fibroids and infertility. It's deeper than that, you know, and so I want to let you hear from one more sister, and then we're going to go into our empowerment moment. So my dear friend, my sister from another mother, Felicia, are you present? His star six and unmute for me, love. Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm honey. Here. Hi. Hi. So thank you for being so open and willing to share your experience with the sisters that's called in this evening. And I'll let you go ahead and take it from here. You can tell okay, them what I your experience was like. Okay, I guess I can get through it because Latanya has just brought up all those feelings from the first one. Um, my name is Felicia Blagman, and I originally learned about the womb sauna from my little sister, Karee, Shanae, and my mom. I had gone through a, I have been pregnant and losing my child at four months to stillborn, getting pregnant again, and I'm in my 40s, and it was my first pregnancy, losing a child again a year later at six months, and my mom kept saying, you need to call Tamar, go to the womb sauna. Shanae kept saying, do the womb sauna. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. No, don't know what's about. Got pregnant again last year and miscarried and just was torn up. And I said, near the end of the summer, I need to try something different. I need to see what the womb sauna is about. I was I was interested but fear can keep you from just doing what you need to do. So call Tamar. My sister went with me. And I'm like, Latanya, that first experience, I did not remember that first experience. Latanya was talking about her own story and so much. I went in thinking, okay, I want to get pregnant again. I'm, going, I'm 44. I want to get pregnant again. But my heart. It's heavy from fear, but also I know I need to get all of that under control. By the time I came out of that first session, it was like I had gone to a counselor. Things were released that I'd never even thought about because I had gone through a divorce about four years before that and felt like a failure, and I needed to let that go after a 20-year marriage. But that womb sauna was nothing I could even imagine it would be. It was nothing. It, it's, it's just, it brings tears to my eyes because it was a wonderful experience. It was so releasing. And I just came out like on air, like I could do anything. I was just empowered. And I just released some stuff. Went in the next day, I had my assignment, I did my assignment, I wrote my obituary to my ex-husband, 
did what I needed to do and released myself. The pregnancy thing was no longer bogging me down. If I got pregnant again, that was fine. But I needed to do things for Felicia to make sure Felicia was free. And I had gained so much weight from the three pregnancies and just thinking I was being pretty, but I knew I wasn't healthy. The wound trying to allow me to be free of just everything that had. I went to my second one, and I knew that I didn't need to concentrate on being pregnant, maybe just concentrate on doing stuff for me. So I released some more things that I needed to. And from that last wound, so I've only done two. And from that one, I started just embracing just new ways of living, new ways of eating. I even did a 40-day detox where no meat. And no one could tell me a year before that, I wasn't going to have any form of meat and that I, you know, wasn't going to eat any kind of meat for 40 days, no white sugar, no white flour. No one could tell me that because I was like, no, I can't do that. But I got from the wounds on and just releasing everything I could, I could do anything. I could just embrace and just attempt to try it and see how it went. And I survived the 40 days. I lost 15 pounds since just since July or August, I took the first womb sauna, I've lost a total of 43. And I've just begun to embrace myself. I need to come back to the womb sauna, get my third one so that I can, you know, release some more things because I know I need it. But the whole experience was just wonderful. It brings tears to my eyes just to even think about it. And it just it was just wonderful, and I just thank you, Tamar. I thank my sister and my mom for even just telling me about it because I I needed I needed it, I needed to release some things, and it was, and I released it on the pot. So I, I loved it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. I honor you. Again, you know, I always tell people what goes in the pot stays in the pot. When you get up off that chair, you are leaving some things behind, but you've also put the right things in, and it grows your capacity. And I tell every woman, I am not your healer. I am here to teach you that you are powerful enough to heal yourself. I'm here to reflect to you what's already within you. You already have everything that you need to heal yourself. So my sister from another mother, Felicia, thank you for being here and being so willing to share your experience. All right, ladies. All of you are muted. We're getting ready to go through an exercise that is very important. For those of you who may have joined after I did the introductions, I was saying there's two things we were going to do on this call this evening. Number one, I was going to let you hear from some people what their experiences have been with the womb sauna so far. I am doing this work because of my own need to heal my womb, and that came into my life back in 2009, and that's what got me on a pot. Um, at a Korean spa in Atlanta, and then that was the gateway for me building out the womb sauna kit and releasing this to other women so they could experience the power of vaginal steaming. And what the womb sauna is known for is our sacred component. So, yes, vaginal steaming is going to take care of your body. But the truth is, ladies, most of us have womb imbalances that are deeper than what's just going on with our body. So the fibroids are an indication of something else that we haven't been given the tools to learn how to master. And so what happens is you get in there, you start sweating, you start telling your womb story, and stuff comes up. Your womb records everything. It's like a sacred scroll in between your thighs. It is a record keeper. And so stuff from four years old, stuff from 18 years old, things start to come up because it's time to heal. It's time for a shift, and what comes up needs to come out. So tonight on this call, anybody who's worked with the womb sign, anybody who knows me well, you know that I believe in the power of manifestation. I believe that when we can recognize that it's time to do the work and it's time to shift something, we don't even have to hesitate. We're going to do that on a Friday night over the phone. Wherever you are, we are getting ready to enter into a space where you can call some things forward and you can get rid of some stuff too. So let's jump right into it. Take a deep breath. 
All of your lines, again, are muted. So I really want you to use your also share your words of power and speak this out. Nobody else will hear you, so you can yell it out. You get it out however you need to get it out. But we're going to go ahead and manifest some things tonight. So repeat after me. There are no obstacles. There are no obstacles. I am healed. I am abundant. I am grounded. My mind is made up. I swim in an ocean full of money. My cup overflows. I am clear about who I am. I know who I am. Take your finger, point it right in the center of your chest. And say, I know who I am. I know my power. I know that I am that I am. I am created by the Most High. I am connected to the divine creator of us all. I am sacred. My womb is sacred. Go ahead and take your hand and Rub on your womb. Give her some love and some of your undivided attention and say, yes, my womb is sacred. My womb is whole. My womb is in peace. I love myself. Go ahead and wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself some love. Give yourself some love. I love myself. I love my womb. I love my progress. I love my life. I love my prosperity. I love being blessed. I love being highly favored. There are no obstacles. There are no obstacles. Say it again. There are no obstacles. There are no limitations. There are no blockages. I am whole. I am complete. I am peace. I am healed. I am whole. I am complete. I am peace. Take a deep breath for me. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Take a deep breath. Why are we doing this exercise? I have to call to your attention the power of your words, the vibration of your words. Every time you speak, you create or you kill something. Every time you speak, in your words, it's life or death. Every time you speak, you cast a spell or a blessing. So I have to ask you this. If you can really resonate with this, I want you to listen intensely to what I'm saying. If your words have power, and you are able to recognize and know that your words have power, then you have to be able to answer this question. Honestly, there's no right or wrong question. This is for your breakthrough tonight because tonight is going to shift something in you. I'm here to activate something in you. If it is true that your words are powerful and they are creation instruments of the life you're living, then what is so glorious about your pain story that you must keep telling it over and over and over and over again? What is so glorious about your pain, your anger, your victimization, all of the bad things that's ever happened to you that you have to keep telling that story, that you have to use your words that way? If you know and believe that your words are truly powerful, why use your words that way? What is so addictive about being a victim that you have to use your experience of victimization to identify yourself? What's so useful about continuing to rehearse through your words the narrative about your past and about lack? and about fear. It's time to shift some things. How is telling those stories or using your words that way serving you well? Word by vibration. When we were going through all those positive affirmations, something needed to 
activating you. Some women, when they go through chanting positive statements, they can feel it in their body. They feel lighter afterwards. That's because words are creative instruments. They're tools that's been given to us by the most how to create things. In the Christian tradition, they talk about how everything was made through the mouth of God. Well, it's the same in your life because you embody the energy of the Most High. Everything that you say about yourself, about your life, and about others is a reflection of your truth, whether it's your truth in your conscious mind or your subconscious mind. Your words reflect what you really believe. So every time you say, oh, God, I'm just a procrastinator, or, oh, I'm just so exhausted, or, oh, I'm so broke. You really believe that. You want to shift something? You want to see how you really feel about yourself? Take a look at your words. So, again, what is so glorious about your pain story that you must keep telling it over and over and over and over again? You can always tell a woman that knows her power by how she uses her words. The woman who knows her power, she recognizes that her words are magical wands, in a sense, directing energy. She knows that she can be in front of her husband wanting to cuss him out, but instead bless him (laughs) or call something positive in him instead of speak negativity into her household. Instead of speak negativity into her womb, her body, instead of calling herself weak, something has activated in her that makes her wake up every day and call herself strong and call herself powerful. There is another way. It's one of the mantras my Baba gave me that I stand on. There is another way. You can experience things and define the impact as something that will serve you well. Yes. All of us, I'm sure, have a pain story to tell, whether it's a trauma, whether it's feelings of abandonment or neglect. We all have been dealt some things in this life. And although you may not have been able to control what showed up at your door, it is you who gets to define the impact that that will have on your life. You assign the meaning to all of your experiences. Nobody else does that for you but you. And so when you find yourself recycling a pain story and reliving the vibration of trauma and pain and all of that, yeah, that recycling will create imbalance in your body. And your body, as great and magnificent as it is, can only hold but so much. So tonight we're going to release some things. And it's valid. Some some women that I've worked with, they say, well, listen, Tamer. I've never had a chance to tell my story. That's why we do that in the very first section. I let you get it all out. But before you do that, you have to have a clear decision made that I'm not telling this just to practice telling it. I'm telling this story to get it out of me because I am ready to heal and let it go. It's time to shift. Transformation begins with a decision. So tonight, all of you who have called in for this empowerment call, what I want to activate in you is a decision. I want you to literally, we're not going to play with it, we're not going to hesitate with it. That's not even necessary. We are all here together holding space, creating this powerful vortex to shift some things for ourselves tonight. So let's make a decision that, you know what, now that I realize that my words are really powerful, I'm going to tell this pain story one Last time, this is it. I'm over it. I'm going to get it out tonight, and I'm going to start telling a different story literally after this call. I'm done with it. And I'm going to give room for that on this call, and then we're going to start telling a new story, and then we'll go ahead and, and let the shift manifest. And just like the sisters you heard from at the beginning of the call, you will never be the same. Something will activate in you. So, it's going to get heavy for a quick second, but yeah, you go. Know, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death because this has to die. This pattern has to die because we're going to call something forward. We don't have to fear any evil, all right, because the only way to heal it is to address it and release it. So take a deep breath. Again, 
everybody's line has been muted, all right? So wherever you are, I don't know if you're driving, if you're settled in your home, in your space, take advantage of this moment to really get some stuff out, all right? Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And settle into this moment and say, okay, I've made up my mind. It's time to shift. I'm tired. I'm tired of telling the same story about my daddy being gone or whatever it is. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to move forward. And I'm going to let my words carry me into that process. I'm going to let that be the mechanism tonight to send the signal to the universe that I'm ready to move forward. So I'm going to, so that. Those who are listening to the recording, there's not dead space. I'm going to call some things out that I know are generalized pain that many women can connect to. But in your private space, wherever you are, let it out. You got to scream it out. If you have to cry it out, tell your pain story one last time. Let this moment represent I'm going to get this out. I'm going to tell this as raw as I need to for the last time. If you've got to cut some people out in your space, <laughs> do that. Whatever you've got to do, let this be it and start replacing it with the new story. All right, so take another deep breath. I'm going to express the pain while you express yours in your space. You can go ahead and get started right now. Start talking it out. Tell your pain story. Whatever it is, get it out. It could be, how could you do that to me? It could be he touched me. I hate you. She touched me. She confused me. You left me. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm over it. I'm broke. I just want to be happy. I want to be free. God, why did this have to happen to me? I have fibroids. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overweight. I don't like what I see in the mirror. I don't have it right now. I just don't have it anymore. I haven't had too many kids. I'm over it. I'm tired. I'm tired of, of doing this. Oh, well, that's just how life goes. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm sick of these people that I think are hating on me. One day they're going to get it. <laughs> They're petty. they hating on me. It could be, why can't I have a baby? I'm ready. I've been waiting. I'm tired of grieving. I can't believe I let them cut me. I'm so stupid. I'm so angry about that. I should have. I could have. I would have. Why didn't I? Where's my daddy? Where are my friends? I feel like I'm by myself. I feel like I'm alone. Nobody understands me. And I can't stand my mother. She gets on my nerves. <laughs> I have no family. I'm over it. No, I'm not. I still feel some type of way. I keep going back and forth with myself. I'm always on my own. I'm always alone. No one gets it. People are always judging me. You don't know me. You don't know me. Why did I get rid of my babies? Babies, forgive me. I'm sorry. No one loves me. No one cares. Whatever it is, get it out. Get it out. Stop holding it in. It's making you sick. Let it out. Tell this pain story one last time. Call it out. And if you can't find a word, you can just go, ah, and get it out. Ah, whatever it is, get it out so you can heal. It makes room for that healing, loving energy to come in. Get it out, whatever it is. I'm going to give you a few more seconds. Get it out. This is the last time that you got to tell this story because there's another one to replace it. I'm going to count from 10 to 1. Get it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, take a deep breath. 
<sighs> Sometimes we don't know how much we're holding in until we address it. It's time to shift. One of the covenants I had to make with myself when I was going through my journey of releasing my own pain was that whatever amount of time I spent telling my pain story, I would counter it with just as much time telling my new story of victory, of deliverance, of power. So we're going to do that. We're going to all that stuff you just put out there, now that it's out of you, we're going to put the right stuff in. So take another deep breath. Repeat after me. I release and let it go. I release and let it go. I release and let it go. No more pain. No more grief. No more victimhood. No more suffering. I am free. I am free. I am whole. I am complete. There are no obstacles. There are no blockages. Everything is working in my favor. Yes! Holler it out. Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gratitude is the vehicle to expedite and manifestation. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, universe. Hallelujah. I say, Modupoy, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No obstacles, no limitations. The way is open for me. I am whole. Touch yourself. Point at yourself. I am whole. I am complete. I am healed. I call it forward. It's here. I know it. I feel it. I accept it. Abundance is present. Money is present. Peace is present. Joy is present. Happiness is present. Yes. That's one of my favorite words. I know y'all can hear me hollering. I'm country and loud. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I receive it. I accept it. It is here. I'm grateful. Thank you. Take a deep breath. Hear me, where the energy goes, the power flows. Where the energy goes, the power flows. What you concentrate on the most is what you will resonate in and what will show up in your life because you are made in the image of the Most High. So you are here on this planet to create things, consciously or unconsciously. So whatever is going on in your life, you just shifted it because you made a decision to take action on it. It'll work when you work it. When you sweep it under the rug, it piles up. But when you address it and you work it, it's done. It is finished. You've called for it what you need. And if I left anything out, call it for it now. No matter how big, dream big, no matter what it is, call it out now. Call it out. Call it out. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Feels good to get it out and put the good stuff in. Feels good. So I want to share with you before we go, and then we got to talk about the tour and the good things we have coming up for you, an excerpt from one of my favorite books. Many of you are probably familiar with The Secret. And it's in the section that talks about powerful processes. A lot of people feel stuck or imprisoned or confined by their current circumstances, whatever your circumstances, right now. That is only your current reality. And current reality will begin to change as a result of beginning to use the secret. Your current reality or your current life is a result of the thoughts you've been thinking. All of that will totally change as you begin to change your thoughts and your feelings. When you want to change your circumstances, you must first change your thinking. Every time you look inside your mail expecting to see a bill, guess what? It'll be there. Each day you go out dreading the bill. You're never expecting anything great. You're thinking debt. You're expecting debt. So debt must show up 
so you won't think you're crazy. <laughs> and every day you confirm your thought, is that going to be there? Yes, that's there. Is that going to be there? Yes, that's there. Is that going to be there? Yes, that's there. Why? Because you expected that to be there. So it showed up because the law of attraction is always being obedient to your thoughts. Do yourself a favor and expect a check. I think that might have set a few of us free right there. Do yourself a favor <laughs> and expect a check. Expectation is a powerful, attractive force because it draws things to you. Desire connects you with the thing desired, and expectation draws it into your life. Expect the things you want and don't expect the things you don't. So this exercise we did, keep doing it. Keep calling these things forward. Use your aso share, your words of power to call happiness, joy, peace, abundance, healing in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit. Call all of these things forward. Be a good steward of your words. Your words are a form of energy. They are creative instruments. All right, so I hope everybody is excited and feeling the energy behind all of those things you just called forward. It's powerful when you shift it like that. And I stand in agreement with you and I hold space for you. And I'm going to ask that we all on this call do this, and then I'm going to open up the call. I'm holding space this evening for you to really resonate with what you've called for and, and all of the blessings you've spoken over yourself. And I am standing seriously with each and every single one of you that, that this night was the last night that you had to tell that old pain story. So we can celebrate however you like to celebrate, if you like to dance, if you need to twerk, if you need to run through your house, Whatever you got to do to send a signal to the universe that this is it and that you are excited about your freedom and you're excited about this shift, go ahead and give it up. Go ahead and give it up. All right. So before we are here all night, <laughs> let me um, shift us while we're in this high vibration. Let me shift us into the tour. Right now the Womb Sauna is doing its annual tour called The Power of the Squat. And we are taking free seminars all throughout the world. We do the majority of the tour in the United States, but this year we're also doing Canada and um, the British Virgin Islands. And we're taking a class that people can attend so they can actually learn about how vaginal staining can change not only their bodies but their lives and how womb healing work is necessary for the cosmic shifts that are happening in our world. It's time for women to reconnect to our inner power and to do the healing work that's necessary to bring in these powerful babies, to bring in um, a different environment, a different community. I really believe that if you heal a woman, you heal that household, you heal that community, and eventually it affects nations. You can heal a nation as well. It's a domino effect. So my only request as a result of this call is that we share this high vibration and this movement that the womb sauna is doing right now. I ask that, yes, we light up the Internet with our testimonies from how just doing something as simple as telling a different story has transformed our lives. Tweet it, Facebook it, Pinterest it, uh, Tumblr it. I mean, so many of them now. Email it, tell your friends, your family, say, oh, my God, I was on this womb empowerment call by the womb sauna, and it changed my life. It was the last night. It marked the anniversary that I stopped telling a story that did not serve me well anymore, and today is a new day for me. If you haven't connected to what they're doing, you need to. Our last tour location is in D.C. tomorrow. After that, we're heading to Texas. Then we'll be heading to New York, Philly. Los Angeles, um, Atlanta, Georgia, again, uh, Toronto, Canada, and Ontario, Canada, and the British Virgin Islands. I want to give you the website link so you can also share this with people that you know need a breakthrough. You know they need to connect with this energy. Um, the website for our tour itinerary is www.vagstain, V-A-G, S T E A M Vagstein 
dot event B, and that's with two E's. It's like event bright, but it's event B. So E V E N T B E E dot com. So they can go there. They can register for the free seminars. They can also register for discounted womb sauna sessions. The womb sauna is for an hour. And it's a full body sweat, and it's a very sacred experience. And we've mobilized our sonic kit so that we're able to take it. The only thing we ask is that people pre register so we can properly prepare for the experience when we get to that city or to that area. All right? So that's my only request. Now that we are celebrating the shift that we've created tonight, um, Share it with someone else. Let them know what you've experienced on this call. Let them know how it's resonated with you. And encourage them to attend the tour. And if you haven't signed up yourself, do sign up and attend. Like I said, um, tomorrow is our last tour location here in D.C. We started at Howard University. Tomorrow we'll be at Anacostia Library from 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. All of the details is on the registration site. And again, that's that theme dot event B with two E's dot com. All right. So I want to go ahead and give everyone a chance to connect and I want to open up the lines. All of you are muted, but if you want to give some feedback, tell me what this experience was like for you tonight. Tell me who you are. You can hit star six to unmute your line. I would love to hear from you. And again, you hit star six to unmute yourself. Hello? Peace, peace, peace. How are you? Peace, love. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone, and, and we would love to hear what you have to share. Sure. My name is Yasmin. I'm in Houston, Texas. Um, I have not personally had an experience with the womb sauna itself, but I have definitely benefited from just knowing the sister. Like, she's totally helped me in so many ways, and there's so much more to come, and I'm so excited. Like, I'm overly excited for the experiences that I will have in my relationship with her. Um, I know that she has every morning, or not every morning, but every Sunday morning, she has a conference call, um, and it's 6 o'clock my time, and I mean, it's 6 o'clock normally, you find me sleeping, but I've been attempting and have made it a few times to this call, and it's just been so beneficial and so uplifting and so empowering, and it totally has given me a whole new outlook on life. I mean, I wasn't thinking about it and looking at it like most people do already, but it's totally taken another layer of film off my eyes that has allowed me to see things even more clearly than I was before. And, I mean, for anybody that has never even had anything, I mean, okay, let's be for real, like, Who's ever heard of getting your vagina cleaned out? Like, who does that? That's not a common thing. It's not talked about. It's, it's basically unheard of. So for a sister to even come and bring such an experience and offer it to women, I would think we'd be lined up. I mean, we're lined up to go get our hair done. We're lined up to go get our nails done. We're lined up, at, you know, for new shoes and sales and everything like that. But when it comes to renewing yourself, it's like unheard of. And it's it's difficult to persuade, but it, 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 it shouldn't even have to be persuasion. It should just be the mention of the opportunity and people should jump on it. I know I did. I stumbled upon it and have been excited ever since. So, I mean, for anyone that's like a little iffy or unsure, I don't really see why. Like, it's 25-plus beneficial health benefits and one side effect. And that one side effect is pregnancy. I mean, is that really a side effect? <laughs> well, look, for the, for the sisters that have popped out five or six, they're like, yes, that's a side effect. Right? <laughs> 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 but 
But no, I'm glad you bring that up because what you what my sister is saying, and this is so common, especially amongst minority women or women of color, um, is we have not really truly learned how to put ourselves first, right, exactly. and be good to ourselves. And we're always filling up everybody else's cup before we get to ours, and we're always pouring out of a cup that's not always full and overflowing. And that's huge. And so what you're saying, you know, you're right. Sometimes we're putting other things um, as a priority, and it takes away from our own healing needs. And so what happens is your body begins to scream and ring an alarm. It rings diabetes. It rings blood pressure issues. It rings fibroids. And do I have your attention now? Do I have, mm-hmm. are you going to make yourself a priority now, right? So thank you for mm-hmm. highlighting that. we got to be good to ourselves, and we got to do okay. it first. And, I mean, not even, I apologize for interrupting, but, I mean, not even to those health severities. I mean, you have acne, you have eczema, you have, you know, just minor things seemingly but are really big issues. I mean, you know, toothaches and headaches and body aches and, you know, just all these seemingly minute just symptoms but are really big screams from your inside, like, please, hey. Look at me, like this is important inside, not just the outside. Because, I mean, the outside, everyone talks about and they glamify it and make it seem like it's supposed to be everything, everything, but no one ever says that you have to be whole on the inside to be better on the outside. Got to heal from the inside out. Must Got it, because we get sick from the inside out. So thank you for sharing, love. And for those of you who may not be familiar with the call she was referring to, every Sunday morning we do a womb healing call, and we do 70 minutes of what I call faith medicine. So literally we call in every Sunday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and she's in Texas, so that's 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we pray together. Each woman has an opportunity to state her intention for what she wants to see manifest that upcoming week, and we pray and support that intention. Um, And so it's actually the same number and access code that you use this evening, so you can feel free to save that number and call in on Sunday mornings if you just want to set a powerful intention for the week and have some spiritual support. So thank you, Yasmin, for chiming in. I appreciate you, love. And I'm glad you were able to be on the call tonight. Oh, well, thank you. And I will see you soon. I will see you in Texas, baby. As as, uh, Beyonce says, Houston, Texas, baby. I'm sorry, y'all. I I love to be animated. So (laughs) I think there was another sister who wanted to say something um, and unmuted their line. You want to go ahead and speak up, love? Peace. Hello. Peace, how are you? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, ladies. This is Sarita. Hey, love. Everybody else is muted, but you go ahead and talk. Oh, okay. So, yeah, um, this evening, I just wanted to pretty much give a testimony to um, my personal experience with the womb sauna. And um, long story short, I had an abnormal pap smear. For the first time, I discovered this actually when I was pregnant with my first baby about um, almost four years ago. And um, I finally got on the pot and um, just started with the exercises and um, started with the healing, as Melinda um, has talked about, from the inside out. And my testimony is that when I went back to um, my doctor, I was told that my pap smear came back normal. And prior to me sitting on the pot twice, it was abnormal. And then after I sat on the pot, I went back to my doctor and my report came back that it was normal. So um, I definitely believe in and starting to learn more and more and believe in healing yourself from the inside out. And to the young lady, I didn't get your name, but when you had mentioned like little minor things that happen to us from like a simple breakout. I have a testimony just to that. Um, that happened to me back in November, this past November. And I started a new temporary position, and my face literally, starting from the forehead, 
just started breaking out in a bunch of little bumps like I've never seen before in my life. Nothing had changed in my diet. It wasn't on any medication or anything. And I just really just ignored it, to be honest with you. I said, okay, it'll go away. Stopped working this temporary position, which was extremely stressful, and went on vacation for about three weeks for that month of December. Face continued to break out and just spread all over my face. It was horrible. And I'm just now getting the healing of my skin back, like maybe a month ago. So that's just, I mean, it just made me think about then that little things can affect us, and if we don't pay attention to it, take care of our, ourselves, you know, that our body speaks to us all the time. Um, and it, it may be quiet and subtle, and we continue to ignore it and then until it grows into a bigger problem when you have, you know, tumors and fibroids and things like that. So I just want to say that I'm really excited about um, the womb sauna and the work that um, Tamar is doing with um, healing women and spreading the word. So that is. Thank you, love. That's my childhood friend, y'all, that's talking. Sarita, I love this chick. We've literally known each other since elementary school, and I'm just so glad you were able to make it and share your experience with everyone. It's true, body wisdom is paramount. Body wisdom is paramount. And sometimes we run into the doctor's office and give our power away. If you look yeah. at how it works, the first thing the doctor asks you is what's wrong. And based on your truth of what you're able to identify with yourself, then they start practicing medicine. So you got to really start looking at how you give your power away, not saying that, you're, you know, everybody's doctor isn't a bad doctor. That's not what I'm implying, but really start looking at how you can start connecting to your body and the messages that it's giving you. What are the triggers? Like my, my sister was saying, it was that job that began to stress her out, and she got so agitated that her skin began to break out. Well, that's a message. And we don't have to panic when we know that we're getting messages. You know, you don't panic when the fire alarm goes off. Maybe you cook something and the smoke got to the fire. You just turn it off, right? You do what it takes to turn right. off the alarm. It's the same thing when it comes to our bodies. When you start getting these messages that show up as PCOS, fibroids, painful cycles, depression, poverty mindset, you know, all these different things are messages that your mind, your body, and your spirit are relaying to you. It'll work when you work it. It's not going to disappear on its own. And the universe will continue to send you the conditions you need to master your lesson until you master it. That's how much God loves you. That you will continue to get the same conditions you need over and over and over again to really get to your most empowered position in this life. And so let's get to work. Let's get to work. I think there was another sister who had also unmuted themselves. Did you want to chime in? And for any other sisters, you can hit star six to unmute yourself. I really want to hear what this experience was like for you tonight, ladies, and redefining your pain story and shifting some of that. What was that like for you? Peace and blessings. Peace, love. How are you? Okay, okay. I'm right here. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. Go ahead and announce yourself to everyone and, and share okay. some of your experience. My name is Iman, and I live in Philly. And um, I'm very, I've been excited about um, the womb sauna healing since I met um, Tama at a um, midwife and doula gathering. Um, so I've been I've just been getting so much downloaded information, especially the last past week. Um, so I'm just really, I, I'm I'm just really looking forward to um, healing myself. Um, even though sometimes I I think I'm fine, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So every now and then I, I'm walking around, I think I'm fine, and then something pops up and it says, okay, well, you have that issue that you don't, you rarely look at, but um, I'm I'm happy, and I'm I'm happy with with life. I'm I'm happy with learning to do the womb sauna, um, and and just all the other healing energy that's out here. I'm a doula, I'm a midwife apprentice, I'm a massage therapist, um, 
I could say that there's, you know, well, well, you know, they've already said it. There are no obstacles. So I'm mm-hmm. good. Yes, indeed. I'm good, and I'm just happy with all the lessons and all the blessings and knowing that life's just going to move forward and that I'm supported and that um, I have that essence of the creator in me, that I am that. And I'm just very happy, you know. Um, I, I'm happy with the challenges in my life. I haven't tried the womb song yet. But I'm studying so hard. I'm so anxious. I'm so excited. I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, like, not just, just not trying it, but just to be able to share it and and to help women heal. Um I have a healer in nature, so, I mean, I'm saying women because I work mostly with women anyway, even now. Um, and I have some interesting women that I work with. You know, I have a, a woman that's been bedridden for three years, you know. Um, so I don't know. She doesn't talk. I go give her massages, and um, she's gotten progressively better. But like I said, I've been getting such a download of information. I'm ready to try some new things with her, you know. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I have another I'm so comment. glad you shared. For those who don't know, um, Sister Iman is a womb sauna practitioner and trainer. Woo-woo! So, Philly, you got some powerful sisters uh-huh. bringing the womb sauna vaginal steam your way. And mm-hmm. she has been a joy. I instantly connected with her, like she said, in Philly and her energy. And she truly is here to bring healing, loving energy. Amen. And so I just I celebrate you, my sister. I mean, thank you very much, Tama. Thank you for being there. Thank you for bringing the womb sauna, and we all just love you. I can't wait to see you again. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. We're coming your way. Billy is on a tour, so it's going to be powerful. It's going to be And powerful. I have some sisters that are waiting um, for you to get here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're coming. We're coming. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it. And it's going to be life changing. It's going to. It's something powerful that happens when women come together with the intention of transforming their lives. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I don't take that lightly because it's such a powerful act. Mm-hmm. And it's our ancestors' ways. You know, when you look at the spiritual practices of women throughout time, when the women would come together and they would dance and they would mm-hmm. pray and they would affirm each other and cry and all of those things would shake and move whole civilizations. Mm -hmm. So this work is potent, it's powerful, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. That's why I'm so passionate about it. I also want to thank you, Iman, for chiming in. I love you, sister. Um, I also want to give people who may have questions about the tour or you have questions about the womb saunas, vaginal steam, um, I want to give you an opportunity to ask questions, so you can hit star six to unmute yourself, and I am here to support you and answer any questions, or if you still have feedback that you want to give. We have a few minutes left before we shift the call. I'm Tama. Yes. So um, I just wanted to thank you for just sharing your insight about um, us healing ourselves um, because re- recently I had um, had a uh, I guess a minor issue issue feminine issue that was going on for like I don't know a couple of weeks now and I was telling my husband I said you know what I think it's time for me to go see my doctor and then literally I guess it was about a couple of days ago I was in the bathroom and this thought just dropped in my head and it said go to the herb shop. Now, this is stuff that, I, that I'm, that you know, not used to doing, herbs and all this healing within. This is all going on me and it's new to me, and I'm really, really feeling it. And I was like, wow, well, let me just try. So I go to the herb shop and discover, you know, get some, you know, natural things and herbs that I needed and found out 
that like my healing literally like began within 24 hours. And I say that to say that initially my thought was to go to the doctor. And now, you know, since I'm learning that you really can take care of yourself and do more for yourself if you just kind of check in and be more in tune with yourself and the things around you and the things that were given to us from the earth, you know, to, like you say, heal yourself. And I just I just thought about that, and I was like, wow, because I, I said I was going to go to the doctor, and I said, you know what, I could probably take care of my own issues myself. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> and I'm glad you highlight that because I am an advocate of using what's in earth pharmacy. I mean, and I'll give you this analogy for everyone listening. Um, you have to think about why you could eat a whole bag of chips but you can't eat a whole bag of carrots. It's because your brain is able to recognize what's real food from the earth versus what's not even, I don't even know what we would call potato chips, <laughs> but this junk food that we put in our bodies, well, it's the same thing with medicine. That's why, you know, when you pop a pill for one thing, it's affecting another organ or system, right? But mm-hmm. when you start using plant-based herbal medicines, you start smoking the wound with these herbs and plants, there's a communication happening between those plants and your body, and your body knows the message. It's the same frequency. You know, our bodies return to the earth, so our bodies know what to do with this stuff, and that's why you're able to see faster results and results that are more long-term because Mm -hmm. of the creator's blueprint. We are here to resonate what's in the earth. That's why sunshine, water, the elements, these different things are nourishing as well. So turn to earth's pharmacy, um, of course, the Womb Sonder provides tools for that through the vaginal stain. We also have a product line where we take three of Earth's tools. We take herbs, we take gemstones, and we take flower essences, and we combine them. We call it our triple potency formulation, all into one product. And you can drink it. You can make your own feminine products like douches and vaginal suppositories with it. So you're able to take in Brazilian amethyst, you're able to take in some lilac flower essences, and it amplifies the healing process for you as well. So for those of you who may not have known that, go to our website under the What We Offer tab, and you'll see our online store and description of those products. I think we have a few other women who wanted to chime in, either with questions or comments. Tama, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, love. Hi, this is Leah from New York. How are you? Leah, woo! New York is in the building. Yes. (laughs) Hi, love. I'm hugging you through the phone. How are you? I am good. I just want to tell everybody that Tamar is somebody that I also stumbled across. One of your previous callers said she stumbled across you. I am a big YouTuber. And I look up everything, and one of the things Tama said to me the first time I called her last spring, wow, you do know a lot, and you are a self-healer. That can be a double-edged sword because I tend to do too much for myself, and I don't let other people in. That includes my doctors. It has helped me for a long time, but there are some things that we need to surrender to. And when Mm -hmm. I met Tama, yes, and I struggle with that. When I met Tamar, she said, your problem is not physical, my dear. It's spiritual. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I just need to stop bleeding. Again, I'm coming into the call telling her how to treat me. I'm coming to her for help, but then I just wasn't ready. And I came back to her about six months later. I was ready because what I was doing wasn't working for me. I did start with the Nutribullet. I did start eating my greens, but I did it at my convenience, and I did it according to what was comfortable for me. Like when you said a bag of carrots as opposed to, you said a bag of chips as opposed to carrots, that's me. You know, during our talks, I said, ice cream, I can't give up ice cream, I can't give up chips. (laughs) I said, well, (laughs) you're going to have to do it if you want to heal. But I did up my greens. That's one thing I did do. She said, you need about really nine servings of greens. She, she babied me in the beginning because with me, you have to take baby steps or else I'm just going to do it my way. I upped my greens, 
and I had fibroids and all types of things inside of me that I was not aware of. I upped my greens, ladies, based on what Tamar said to me, and I took baths that she told me to take. I'm in New York. I was going to come to her. If Tamar said, hey, Leah, there's a room in my back room, i got some space, I would have came and lived with this lady because everything she said, I was sitting on my couch one day watching television. I had started juicing for just two weeks. I upped my greens. I had been doing it from last June my way, eight-ounce cups. But my problems go back for years because I was diagnosed like 20 years ago with fibroids and have had problems. I could manage them, but as long as it wasn't life-threatening and I could walk around and be inconvenienced and I could soak through my pads and get up at work and have a chair full of blood, this is what I've gone through. I've also had fibroids removed. So I know what ladies go through. And I'm sitting on the couch just two weeks after increasing my greens, and I could feel like I was going through labor. All the tissue all the blood clotting, coming down my pants into my socks. I had to run to the bathroom over a course of three hours and flush this stuff out. My doctor even said to me, your fibroids are a lot smaller. I, it was still mm-hmm. big. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. That makes me shout every time I hear you tell it because I know how important <laughs> that was to you. Mm-hmm. Yes. The lady who did my surgery years ago, I trusted her wholeheartedly. She did a magnificent job, but even the human hand, she told me I could not go any further because you. I had two blood transfusions after having my fibroids removed. She couldn't go any further. If I would have known Tamar before this, I would have passed that tissue. She said to me, there was some stuff in you I couldn't identify. When you do have a baby, have a hysterectomy when you have one. That was what my doctor even told me. Even after her magnificent job, I had two hysterectomies. So, Tamar, I salute you. I said I have to get on this call because you really, really know your work. But the one question I have is you're traveling around, and the vaginal steaming is something that I haven't done. Is there something Mm -hmm. that ladies who can't make it or, like, if if I'm in town, I will come. But for the ladies who can't make it, is there a place where you're training people right now? Are there people you're going to have in the New York area? Because one of my problems is still my tubes have inflammation in them. My doctor, I went to the doctor, and I still am, I still have a blockage there on both tubes from the surgery that I had, and I'm okay. just not opening up. So a couple of things. Place. Okay. I want to salute you. You saluted me, but I want to salute you because, again, it'll work when you work it. And even mm-hmm. though, you know, you may have felt like you were taking baby steps, it, you're only one decision away from your healing. I want everybody to know that. You are only one key decision away from your healing, and it's that one decision that could turn it all around. So something as simple as increasing her intake of these superfoods, those cruciferous vegetables, kale, collards, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, mm-hmm. those things, your body knew what to do with it, and it began to rejuvenate and heal. But the other thing I need to say, and then, and then I'll definitely answer your question, um, what Leah was describing in terms of me working with her, the reason why I ain't say, girl, get in your car, I hurry up and get on this pot, my philosophy of the womb sauna is every woman has her own entry point to her healing process. So every woman walks away with a regimen tailor-made for her. Um, and Leah's was spiritual. She needed to do the majority of her healing work spiritually. She needed to make some spiritual baths, pray over herself. What did I tell you? Do baptize yourself in your tub <laughs> and all of that to break up the imbalance that was going on in her body. And so at the finish line, yes, is balance between mind, body, and spirit. But some women, you know, I have vegan women who they've been eating raw food stuff and having a vegan lifestyle for 10-plus years but still can't shake their fibroids. 
it's not just about that. Your your body, your mind, and your spirit have to work together. And you got to identify where that imbalance is rooted. And so that's what we do in the womb sauna. Before you are done, whether it's a vaginal steam or a phone consultation, that's how Leah got started. We were talking over the phone. And um, you'll know the root cause to your imbalance. So for those who aren't able to get to one of our tour locations, you are more than welcome to set up a one-hour phone consultation with me. Um, that's on the What We Offer tab on our website as well. And the phone consultations are only $35. So they're very reasonable, you know, and you'll get the answer to why do I even have all of this stuff going on in my body to begin with. We'll peel back those layers. Um, the other piece of it is, yes, I do have some people who are in training right now getting certified in the New York area. Um, I have some actually between Philly, New York, and Jersey that are being trained and certified. So New York ladies, I will not leave you hanging. I promise you all will have the womb sauna easily accessible to you in that area. In the meantime, while they're getting trained, I am coming to New York in May. And so I'll be there, so I really strongly encourage you that you, you know, make it a priority to get there if you can. Um, and the other option is if you want to work specifically with me as well and my team that's in your area, we do group events. So we can set things up where our team comes in and we make it a festive celebratory time for the women, and maybe we do a sister circle activity and then – you know, we do the vaginal scenes for the sisters. And so my team of people that are in New York, if you want to coordinate an event, invite your friends, your mama, your cousins over and say, hey, you need to get on this pot. I know it sounds crazy, but it will change your life. <laughs> you know, we do that as well, and we can coordinate that. Um, the womb sauna practitioners are able to work within a home environment, spa environment, as well, so we're very adaptable and flexible with our kit design. Yeah. Did that answer your question, sis? Yes, and I heard what you said about the herbs, the gemstones, and the flower essences. Could I, in the meantime, before you come to New York and May, use any of those to get me started to maybe get mm -hmm. that information? What I would on. recommend um, for you would be the Smell of Heaven blend. It's a blend of medicinal flowers that are very potent, and that should help. And I will send you uh, an instructional card that talks about the different ways you can use the herb. I would want you to drink them, bathe in them, and douche with them, and I will put you on a regimen. So we could talk about that offline. But, yes, that's going to help you with the fallopian tubes. It's going to help with fertility and hormone balancing. A lot of times, women, let me throw this in, and then I know there's a few other people with questions. But a lot of times we're trying to manage our hormones, your hormones are made by the glands in your endocrine system. So that's like going to a car dealership, buying a Cadillac, but trying to get it repaired at a Toyota mechanic shop. What you want to do is you want to go back to the manufacturer of that vehicle and get the repairs done correctly. So if you repair the glands, then the hormones that are being improperly made by those glands will repair themselves. All right, so those glands are like your thyroid, your adrenals, your uh, pituitary gland. These small, tiny glands in our body have potent power. And I have a whole class about that if you want to learn how to support your endocrine system and support those glands so that you can create a harmonious hormonal environment in your body. Go on the Womb Sauna University. It's called um, the class is about birth control, hormone replacement therapies, and how to manage your hormones. And it's a class that I teach. For those of you who have difficulty finding it, just give us a call and we'll direct you to that course content. All right, I think there's a few more sisters. we got about six minutes left, and I want to go ahead and wrap up the call. Is there anyone else who had a question or a comment that you wanted to share? Yes, ma'am, I do. Um, this is Yasmin again out of Houston. Um, real quick, I wanted to ask you, for women who are pregnant, like, what are the options, or for breastfeeding, what are the options but still interested in the womb sauna? Um, with breastfeeding, does that affect, if they wanted to get the, the steam, does that affect their milk supply or anything? 
That's a great question. So if they've already delivered their baby and they're breastfeeding, it does not affect the milk supply. We actually have six different herbal combinations that we use, and so we would use one that is safe for breastfeeding mothers. Um, for okay. mothers who just delivered their babies, it is wonderful to get a vaginal steam because it actually speeds up your recovery from childbirth, and it helps pull things out of the body. Um, even if you've had a miscarriage as well, it helps with the healing process from that experience. Um, and then women who are pregnant, we do not currently do any kind of vaginal steaming for pregnant women, but we do provide doula care services. And we do provide what um, – I haven't even announced this to the public yet, so y'all are getting a special treat. Um, but we also have a motherhood initiation program that's in development to walk mothers through rites of passage into parenthood. So that comes with the birth planning. That comes with parenting planning. It comes with the spiritual component. So I do spirit baby readings where you get to connect to the spiritual energy of your child before, during, and after they've been in your womb. Um, so we have that. There's a whole doula care page that describes all of the different services that we have for um, mothers who are pregnant or trying to conceive or have just delivered their babies. Wonderful. Okay, well, I will definitely share that, and I'm excited. Um, by the way, I need to speak with you soon, if we can. Okay, not a problem, love. We'll talk soon. Thanks. All right. Anyone else before we wrap up the call? This has been a beautiful experience. I'm glad I was able to share it with each of you. Um, does anyone else have a question or something that you want to share before we wrap it up? All right, power people. Go ahead and lift those hands up and say, I am whole, I am complete, I am healed. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all have done something powerful tonight. I hope you've enjoyed our woman time and call. I can't wait to see many of you on the tour. Um, and if you can't make it to one of our tour locations, still give us a call. We'll try to see what we can do with our team to make sure you get the opportunity to experience the power of the squat. So I love each and every one of you. Thank you for joining. We're going to conclude the call here. You have a blessed night. Peace. Good night.